Hello, I'm Svetlin Naku from Softuni Global. This is the next episode from my Dev Concept series. This lesson is very interesting because we touch up on the way data is represented in the computer memory. You will see how different data types are stored in the memory. I will explain how integers are represented by computers, including positive integers, negative integers, and zero. Then I will explain how computers represent real numbers like 3.14 and why they use so-called floating point uh, format, which is defined by the IEEE 754 standard. I will explain why in many cases, uh, in many scenarios, the floating point arithmetic can fail and produce inaccuracies in the calculations. Yes, this is true, you'll see later. Finally, I will explain how computers represent data and text characters in the computer memory, and I will mention the text encoding standards and formats such as ASCII, uh, Unicode, and UTF-8. Okay, make sure to like this video and subscribe to my channel if you enjoyed this lesson. And let's start with the lesson itself. In this section, we shall look inside the data representation in the computer systems. We shall learn how computers store integer numbers, floating point numbers, text and other data. Integer numbers are represented in the computer memory as sequences of 8 bits, 16 bits, 24 bits, 32 bits, 64 bits, and others, but always a multiple of 8, one byte. Integers can be signed or unsigned. Signed integers can hold positive and negative values, and they tend to be used more often. Unsigned integers can hold only positive values. And this is natural. Some values in the real world, world can only be positive. For example, the numbers of students enrolled for a class. Other values in the real world, like the daily temperature, can be positive and negative or zero. Signed integers in computer systems use their leftmost bit as sign, where bit value zero means positive number, uh, and one means negative number. This is called MSB, the most significant uh, bit. In this example, we can see how the most significant bit, the bit at position 7, uh, in given 8-bit integer number, can hold 0 for non-negative values and one for negative values. Uh, the positive value 18, for example, is represented by 00010010. Its leftmost bit, leftmost bit is zero. The negative value minus 110, for example, is represented by one, zero zero one zero zero one zero its leftmost bit is one positive eight bit integers have a leading zero followed by seven other bits their format match the pattern zero x x x x x x x uh, positive sign plus seven significant bits their value is the value uh, is the decimal value of their significant bits, the last seven bits. Negative eight bit integers have a leading one, have a leading one, uh, followed by seven other bits. Their format match the pattern one, y, 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 y. Negative sign plus seven significant bits. Their value is minus 128, which is minus two raised to the power of seven, plus uh, the decimal value of their significant bits. At the example below, 
it is illustrated how the signed 8-bit integer, uh, binary integer 100101010 represents minus 110. The most significant bit is 1. This. Uh, so the number is negative. Uh, the value is calculated as minus 128 plus the unsigned decimal value of the other seven bits, uh, which are 00001010, which is uh, 18 in decimal. Finally, the value uh, in the example, in the above example, is minus 128 plus 18 equals to minus 110. Following the rules we just explained about the bitwise representation of the negative integers, we can demonstrate which are the smallest and the largest signed integers. The largest signed 8-bit integer is 127, which is equal to 2 to the power of 7 minus 1 which is 0 followed by 7 times 1. This. The smallest negative 8-bit integer is minus 128, which is equal to minus 2 to the power of 7, which is 1 followed by 7 zeros in binary. The largest signed 32-bit integer is 2,147,483,647, which is equal to 2 to the power of 31 minus 1, which is 0 followed by 31 ones in binary. And the smallest negative 32-bit integer is minus 2,147,483,648, which is equal to minus 2 to the power of 31, which is 1 followed by 31 zeros. The table on the screen summarizes the ranges of the integer data types in most popular programming languages which follow the underlined number representations that we discussed in this lesson. The 8-bit signed integers uh, range from minus 128 to 127. This is the S byte type in C sharp and the byte in Java and many other languages. The 8-bit unsigned integers range from 0 to 255 and this is the byte type in C sharp and in many other languages. Uh, the 16-bit signed integers have ranged from minus 32,768 to 32,767. Uh, this is the short type in Java and C sharp. The 16-bit signed integer uh, have range uh, unsigned, sorry, 60B unsigned integers range from 0 to 65,565, uh, and this is the U short type in C sharp. The 32 bit signed integers uh, have range from minus 2 to the power of 31 uh, to 2 to the power of 31 minus 1, which is um, from minus 2 billions to 2 billions, roughly. Uh, and this is the int type in C sharp, Java, and most other languages. This 32 bit signed integer data type is the most often used type in computer programming. Most developers write int when they need just a number without worrying about the range of its possible values because the range of int is large enough for most use cases. Uh, there are also many other integer types. Uh, the 32-bit unsigned integers have ranged from 0 to 2 to the power of 32 minus 1, about 4 billions, and this is the uint type in C-sharp. 
Most programming languages also have 64-bit signed and unsigned integers, which behave just like the other integer types, but have significantly larger ranges. Sometimes we need non-integer numbers like 1.5 or 0.25. In math, such numbers are called real numbers. Computers use the floating-point number format defined by the IEEE 754 technical standard for floating-point arithmetic with real numbers. This is the standard which is implemented by the computer hardware, microprocessors, smartphones, Wi-Fi routers and other devices. This standard defines how computers represent real numbers, numbers which have integer and fractional part. The IEEE 754 standard defines arithmetic format, uh, representations of the binary and decimal floating point data as a sequence of bits and encodings in the memory, rounding rows for floating point numbers. Uh, this is how the numbers which cannot be stored exactly are represented. For example, if we divide 1 by 3, we get an infinite decimal fraction, which is rounded before storing in the memory. Operations, arithmetic and other operations or floating point numbers like sum, difference, product and quotient of two numbers. And special numbers such as infinity, negative infinity and none, not a number. These special values behave in a special way defined by the standard. For example, infinity plus 1 is equal to infinity. Floating point numbers are stored as sequence of bits which represent three separate parts sign bit, mantissa and exponent. The sign bit specifies whether the number is positive or negative. The mantissa holds the meaningful value of the number. It's so-called precision. Bigger mantissa means higher precision. The exponent holds the magnitude of the number. For example, 2 to the power of 20 or 2 to the power of minus 3. It's a multiplier for the mantissa used to represent very big numbers and numbers very close to zero. This is an example of 32-bit number in the IEEE 754 format. This is the sign, this is the exponent, and this is the mantissa. These 32 bits represent the real number value of minus 21.15625. The details about the mantissa, exponent, the sign, bit, and how they exactly represent floating point numbers are a long story, which is not covered in this lesson and you can find more information in internet if you have time. It's important to mention that with floating point numbers, errors in calculations and precision may occur. This is quite frustrating when we are processing, for example, financial data and money, and we find incorrect results obtained from correct first sight calculations. The main reason why calculations with floating point numbers sometimes are incorrect is that some numbers like 0 0.3 uh, cannot be represented in the above format without rounding as a sum of negative powers of 2. To illustrate this, we can open the IEEE 754 converter online and we can check how 0.3 is rounded when it is stored as a floating point number. So this is the online tool and we enter 0.3 here and we see the value actually stored uh, in the float number, which is obviously different than 0.3. You can play uh, with this tool to understand better the floating point numbers representation. Computers represent text characters as unsigned integer numbers, which means that letters are sequences of bits just like the numbers. 
In computers, the text characters are the letters from different alphabets, the digits, the punctuation charts, and other textual symbols, which we can see in the text document. The ASCII standard represents text characters as 8-bit integers. It is one of the oldest standards in the computer industry, which defines mappings between letters and unsigned integers. It simply assigns a unique number for each letter and thus allows letters to be encoded as numbers. This is how the ASCII table looks like. You can find it in internet. And the ASCII standard defines uh, the so-called ASCII code for 127 uh, charts described in the ASCII table. For example, the letter A uh, has uh, co co ASCII code 65. The letter P has ASCII code 66. And the plus sign has ASCII code of 43. The hex and binary values are also shown and are useful in some situations. ASCII comes from the abbreviation American Standard for Information Interchange and includes the English alphabet, the digits, many punctuation symbols, and some special characters. Uh, it does not support Kyrillic, Greek, Arabic, Chinese, and other alphabets. Only English. Okay, we know that within letters are represented by 8-bit numbers in the ASCII standard, but what about the other alphabets? The answer is the Unicode standard. See unicode.org. The Unicode standard represents more than 1000 text characters as 16-bit integers. Unlike ASCII, it uses more bits per character and therefore it can represent text in many languages and alphabets like Latin, Cyrillic, uh, Arabic, Chinese, and uh, Korean, Greek, Japanese, and many others. Unicode is universal by design. It covers more than 1 million of letters, special symbols, and glyphs, and uses internal encoding schemes to overcome the range of 16-bit integers, which can store 65,536 uh, different values. Unicode is developed over the time, and with each new version, New characters are added, like the emoji symbols. On the table, we can see a few examples of Unicode characters. The Latin letter A has Unicode number 65. The Kyrillic letter SH has Unicode number 197, uh, 1097. The Arabic letter PECH uh, has Unicode number 100, 1576. And the guitar emoji symbol has Unicode number of 127,928. There are millions of Unicode characters. You can browse the unicode.org websites to learn more. Unicode texts can be stored in text files using different encodings, known also as char sets. Character encodings define how characters are represented as sequences of bytes. Simple encodings, uh, simple encodings like ASCII use one byte, which is eight bits, per character. More complex encodings use one or several bytes per character. For example, the UTF-16 encoding uh, used two bytes for most Unicode characters and four bytes for the others. The UTF-8 encoding uses one, two, three, four, or four bytes uh, for each character. The most frequent characters, such as the within letters and the digits, are stored using only one byte. 
Mourier alphabet, such as the Cyrillic letters, are stored in two bytes. Other alphabets and symbols take three or four bytes. The UTF-8 standard is used by most of the websites in the internet to represent the text data in the sites. UTF-8 is more efficient for storage and transportation, while uh, UTF-16 is more efficient for internal character, character processing. This is the reason why C Sharp, Java, JavaScript, and Python use UTF-16 to store and process text data in the computer memory. But HTML, CSS, and HTTP use UTF-8, in most cases, to represent and transport web content between the web server and the web browser. Did you like this video lesson? Do you want more? Join the Werner's community at softuni.org. Subscribe to my YouTube channel to get more free video tutorials on coding, dev concepts, and software development. Get access to more free dev lessons and learning resources for developers. Get help from other mentors and meet other learners. And it's all free. Yes, it's free. So join now, softuni.org. Meanwhile, check out my other videos from the Dev Concept series and in everything else in my YouTube channel, well, because I explain and demonstrate main concepts and technologies from the software development pro profession, along with code lessons, uh, video uh, tutorials, and project-based learning. Type in the comments below what topic you would like to see next. Okay, goodbye. See you in my next video.